Okay, so we got a tilted flat. See that? Perfectly tilted on its back slightly. And you look under here, we'll find the water pump, old school. And we test the motor, see? The motor is actually free, so it's not the water pump. It's gonna be the drive capacitor. Drive capacitor is up in the, it's gonna be the drive capacitor motor connection, connection here. Possibly loose, not though. And there is a motor capacitor up in this console up here. And there, it's a black capacitor. Um, and we'll check it. This one, we spin this here. It should actually, it should actually move, move this clutch, silver thing in there, move it. Um, and it's not moving. The silver thing right there, it's not moving. Spinning is, and this is connected to the motor. So um, that plastic drive coupler is connected to the motor. You can see the motor spinning around here, and spinning it. And you don't see that silver clutch in there spinning. And there's a problem with the problem uh, with the transmission. So this transmission is basically shot on this one. They are theoretically rebuildable, but normally I don't rebuild them, I just replace them. So this is going to have to be a separate repair for the transmission. Basically there's three bolts that hold the transmission in. I have to disconnect the water pump and the motor. And disconnect the agitator. And that transmission will come out. And then you can re Okay, so here's your basic transmission. And so basically if we spin this, like we were doing on the other part, see this part spins, right? And if we go the other way, take a couple of turns, and you see the shaft is going to start agitating. It's going to go back and forth. The shaft agitates counterclockwise. And the shaft is moving back and forth at this point. Ideally, what you'd want to do is you'd want to put a wrench on this so that you have some tension, so you can feel the tension, because what happens is sometimes these will go, these will agitate, but they won't hold any force, and you may hear them click inside, so you want to put some force on this to test it, basically. Like I said, you go counterclockwise, agitator should agitate, you go clockwise, then the spin uh, cycle should activate. Like so. So that's how you tell if you got a good transmission. And this one seems to be fine. And uh, so I just need to swap it. This is, of course, the drive coupler. This goes in between here and here. What happens is there's a spline in there. That spline will go out. And if you look here, that spline is lined up with the spline on the main shaft. And this is the clutch. If your clutch is worn down, where it's rubbing on the brass, um, the brass rivet, then the clutch is no longer any good. This clutch here, it's got a little bit of surface rust. I may clean it up. The surface rust actually helps the clutch grab, but I will clean it up before I put it in. And so, ask about my how to make money in the appliance repair business training videos and course. Uh, the course is a two-year course involves uh, my personal coaching business business experience 
And over a link to over 100 videos, 100 training videos. And I also get phone advice for $35. And you can contact me 707-443-8347 or Mr. Main Kane at hotmail.com. Thanks. are a little sticky going out. It's always good to lube the shaft before you start trying to pull it out. And I'm going to take the motor off because the motor's got to go back on that. And I'm going to have to tip it a little bit more to get an angle to pull that out of there. Okay, I was just looking at this clutch. This clutch here looks pretty good. Let me use this again. Got to go in here. Just like that. And look at this little other transmission here. Just spin this thing here. It seems like it's agitating. This transmission was binding up. Seems like it's agitating, but it's not. It starts to but it doesn't do anything. So that's clockwise. And we do counterclockwise. And nothing. Oh, there it is. It's doing something like so. It will agitate. And I don't know why it was locked up. It's what threw me. So it does have some problem because it only it's only agitating, it won't spin. So we go clockwise, and it's not spinning. So it probably got locked up inside, and when I pulled it out, it uh, kind of like theoretically sort of fixed itself. It's a little stiff right there. But uh, yeah, that's the old one. And so, we just put this other one in, and we should be good. Okay, so this one I had to lay all the way down because I had to shove it in. Occasionally these things will be hard to uh, pull out or push in. This one was hard so I had to lay it down. Next I need to put the motor back in. Make sure the drive coupler is lined up. Lube the brake if you hear a clunk when it stops. I've got other videos on this before. Basically you just take your lube spray. Spray it in there by that spring. Make sure you don't get anything on the silver bell. Clutch bell. I'll just lube this a little bit. And anything else that looks rusty. Be careful they whatever the seat shoes and this thing is square when you go, when you go back together or it'll, it'll give you a problem spinning. So this tripod, there's like a tripod plate here. That thing's got to be square on there. And uh, be careful with these hoses. They can break. And uh, so that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, I get phone advice for $35. And... I have a course on how to make money in the appliance repair business. I take two students per year. You can contact me. It involves 100 training videos and a year of personal coaching. Thanks for watching. Okay, one more tip. If you want to isolate your water pump, you take the clip, stick it in here, turn this around. If that pump spins freely, you're good to go. If it doesn't, you need to remove it, get your needle nose in there, and start fishing. Probably have a little sock or something stuck in there. Also on your drive couplers, you want to look closely, make sure there's no cracks in them. You got good splines. Back and front. These are like half half splines. And
Should be good. Okay, so this one I had to lay all the way down because I had to shove it in. Occasionally these things will be hard to uh, pull out or push in. This one was hard so I had to lay it down. Next I need to put the motor back in. Make sure the drive coupler is lined up. Lube the brake if you hear a clunk when it stops. I've got other videos on this before. Basically you just take your lube spray. Spray it in there by that spring. Make sure you don't get anything on the silver bell. Clutch bell. I'll just lube this a little bit. And anything else that looks rusty. Be careful with whatever the seat shoes. And this thing is square when you go, when you go back together. Or it will give you a problem spinning. So this tripod, there's like a tripod plate here. That thing's got to be square on there. And uh, be careful with these hoses. They can break. And uh, so that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, I get phone advice for $35. And I have a course on how to make money in the appliance repair business. I take two students per year. You can contact me. It involves 100 training videos and a year of personal coaching. Thanks for watching. Okay. Final countdown. We're going to test it real quick before we put the agitator back in. Uh, we know we, we know we got a good uh, lid switch. If you take and test it here. 99% that's a good switch. As long as you hear that click. Should be good. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, same thing. We got problems. So the capacitor under here, or that motor, the motor shut.